Did you know that kidney stones can cause severe excruciating pain unimaginable? I am Dr. Vinod Kumar P, Senior Consultant Neurologist from NU Hospitals, Bangalore. Today, let's talk about how kidney stones form, the various causes of kidney stone, how we diagnose them, the treatment options including minimally invasive surgeries. Kidney stones are hard mineral deposits which form inside the kidney, most commonly made of calcium oxalate. These remain mostly asymptomatic as long as they stay in the kidney, but when they drop into the ureter, they can block the urine flow and cause severe back pain and abdominal pain, especially in the flank region. But in addition to that, they can cause blood in urine, frequency, urgency of urination. Sometimes symptoms can simulate urinary tract infections. The common risk factors for kidney stones are mainly dehydration, high sodium intake, high animal protein intake, various metabolic conditions like obesity, diabetes, hypothyroidism and gout also predispose to urinary tract stone formation and even genetic diseases like hypercalcuria, hyperoxuria can also contribute to kidney stone formation. When a patient with kidney stone visits our hospital, we do blood investigations to look for kidney function, urine tests to look for any urinary tract infection, an ultrasound to look for the size of the stone and the location of the stone. In case of larger stones, we may have to do a CT scan to know the exact size of the stone as well as CT scan gives a fair idea about the composition of the stone which helps in further treatment of the stone. The various treatment options available for stone include both non-surgical as well as surgical options. The common non-surgical treatments are hydration, various medications that relieve the pain and medications which help in passage of the stone. The various surgical options for treatment of kidney stone include ESWL, extracorporeal shock lithotripsy. Another surgical option is URS which is also known as ureteroscopic retrieval of stone. The third and another important surgery is called RIRS which is nothing but retrograde intraranial surgery. One of the most commonly done surgery is percutaneous nephrolithotomy which is done for larger and more complex stones in the kidney. Recent advancement in the surgical treatment of kidney stone is also known as ECIRS which is nothing but endoscopic combined intranasal surgery. The advantage of ECIRS is there is complete clearance, almost 100% clearance of stone from the kidney and even the larger complex stones can be cleared in no time. Now coming to the prevention of kidney stone formation, one of the most important aspect as we all know is maintaining a good hydration to have an adequate urine output of around 2 to 3 liters per day, limiting the intake of salt in diet, reducing animal protein intake, increase the consumption of vegetable fibers in diet and managing various underlying conditions and metabolic diseases like diabetes, obesity, hypothyroidism. There is also a test which is done for patients who form stones repeatedly, also known as recurrent stone formers. This test is called metabolic evaluation which is done to identify the exact cause for stone formation. This includes a series of tests which is run on blood and urine which helps in identification of the cause for stone formation. 